The trip was shorter than expected. Instead of heading away, I ended up inside the compound. The ground was muddy, beaten lifeless by countless combat boots. There were sandbags and boxes everywhere. I heard Mike getting off the truck and talking to the other Mike. Hey Mike, what the hell happened? Someone screwed up and loaded the wrong stuff. Useless fuckwads! They reported that they'll get the correct stuff loaded soon. Sounds like a nap is in order. No can do. They're loading onto another truck in the north parking lot. Serial number 233980. So move your ass there. They told me to head to the south gate just so I could be sent back to the north one? Fucking bureaucracy. My instinct was back, and it knew of another truck I could ride. My plan to stow away wasn't screwed at all, just slightly delayed. I only had to reach the north gate without being seen. On that base, drill sergeants were assholes. They forced their platoons to run all around the complex. I had to be careful not to be seen. I just neutralized a soldier, but I couldn't leave him in sight. Those platoons could pass by, see him, and raise the alarm. So I made sure to carry the soldiers I neutralized, hiding them elsewhere out of sight of those patrols. I tried to head east, but I couldn't. Why not? There was a painted line on the ground. And a simple line stopped you? This was no mere simple line. It was full of tentacles. Okay, okay, Mr. Fox. You could not cross that line. Let's just focus on what happened in the opposite direction. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jacker here. Ghost, do you copy? Who the hell are you? Huh? Who are you? Where is Ghost? I don't know who that is. I think you got the wrong channel. Oops. Ugin must have been tampering with the communicator. Damn geeks. Over and out. I couldn't use that potty. It was full. I had to empty it in some toilet. Why didn't you just empty it anywhere? Because I'm not a pig. Moreover, if I wanted to water the plants anywhere, why did I need a potty? And you took your urine with you? Yes, until the next toilet. There, I emptied it to reuse it again. Inside that barrack, there were some guards. I didn't see them because they were sitting behind some bunk beds, slipping out of guard duty, or running around the compound, or worse. 
but thanks to my extraordinary hearing acuity, I could hear their conversation. Okay, when you enter the dungeon, two skeletons with rusty axes block your way. The eerie red light that glimmers in their eye sockets watches you fixedly. What do you do? I load my elven bow and shoot. Hang on, are you really shooting an arrow at a monster that can't bleed? What do you think will happen? That the arrow gets stuck between its ribs and slows it down? Someone just walked in. Fuck, it must be the drill sergeant. Quick, hide yourselves.
I walked in, I ran into a soldier. The guy was so hammered that he confused me with one of his buddies. Hey, Mike. You want a drink? Uh, no thank you. I don't drink when I escape. Hold on. You're not Mike. No, I'm Fox. Jesse Fox. You're the prisoner? I would escape too, if I could. Why? To see my daughter. It turns out that he had a little daughter who he hadn't seen in three years. Every year he requests leave to go see her. And every year his drill sergeant rejects it. Poor man. So, in a week, the daughter was turning six. And Mike requested leave again. And yet, again, the drill sergeant rejected it. Which was why he was drowning his sorrows. Until he knocked himself out. <clears throat> I ran into a guard as I went in. He was urinating. Please don't tell me you pissed that guard off while he was urinating. I couldn't. Someone beat me to it. What the hell are you doing, scumbag? Sir, I'm peeing, sir. Did you wash your hands? Uh, no, sir. I'll wash them when I'm done, sir. Are you touching your dick with your dirty hands? How can you be such a pig? Hands are washed before! Not after peeing! Sir, yes sir. Why did you stop peeing, scumbag? Sir, I ran out of pee, sir. What a pussy! Who do you think you are, a fucking civil? A soldier continues peeing even if his balls are empty. Now get the hell out of here! Sir, yes sir. Sergeant, there's someone behind you. Fuck, soldier, did I tell you to look behind me? Uh, no sir. Then why the hell are you looking behind me? Here, you don't look, listen, or speak, unless I tell you to do it! Understood? Sir, yes sir. That damn drill sergeant acted tough with his men, but he ended up crying like a baby with me. Who the fuck are you? And where the hell is your uniform? I can't find it, sir. I must have lost it. You shit for brains! And do you have a spare one? Yes, sir. And where would that crusty-ass spare uniform be? It's been stolen, sir. Someone broke into my locker and took it. And who the hell was it? It was... Mike, sir. Damn it, son of a bitch! Which one? You might need to narrow it down, scumbag. He's tall, ripped, and from Texas. Just like me, sir. Fuck! You're from Texas? Only two things come from Texas. Charcoal and assholes! Which one are you, boy? I don't see any ash smears, but I definitely see a shit stain! But sir, Texas exports propane accessories- Shut the fuck! Up, shit smear! I'm not a shit- Yes, you are! No, no, I'm not! Hold on, Mr. Fox. Didn't you say it was the drill sergeant who ended up crying like a baby? You're contradicting yourself. It was you. Sergeant, execute this liar. Yes, sir. Who the fuck are you? 
you? And where the hell is your uniform? I can't find it, sir. I must have lost it. You shit for brains! And do you have a spare one? Yes, sir. And where would that crusty-ass spare uniform be? It's been stolen, sir. Someone broke into my locker and took it. And who the hell was it? We still don't know his identity, sir, but we have a clue. What clue, you fuck? We know he was born. In the same state you were, sir. So that son of a bitch is from Texas. Hold on. You're telling me you're from Texas? Only two things come out of Texas. Propane and assholes. I don't see any propane accessories. And I know you're full of shit. Me full of shit? What, you little? Of course you are. Look at your brown eyes. What? My eyes are blue. You sure? The whole base is talking about your brown eye. No. No! I'm not! Just as he started to tear up, I helped old Blue Eyes kiss the canvas. Boss defeated! Thanks, dude. Oh, I mean... Freeze, or I'll shoot! What the hell are you doing, scumbag? Aiming at you with my weapon. Fuck, soldier, did I tell you to aim your weapon at me? Uh, no, sir. Then why the hell are you aiming your fucking weapon at me? Here you don't look, listen, or speak unless I tell you to do it. Understood? Sir, yes sir. Did you wash your hands before aiming your weapon at me, scumbag? Uh, no sir. Fuck, how can you be such a pig? Get the hell out of here. Sir, yes sir. As I entered one of the barracks, I saw that it was different from the others. First off, it had its own urinal. Moreover, it had an office desk. I figured it was the drill sergeant's quarters. I had plenty of time, because I was sure he was still indisposed in the bathroom. The desk had stacks of papers and an ink pad chained onto it. I returned the stamped permission form to the same pocket I found it in. That soldier was going to have a fucking great surprise when he woke up.
before moving forward, I ensured that every unconscious guard was hauled into a barracks. It was imperative that they not be discovered to avoid exposing my rear guard. as you want. northern parking lot. There were trucks and containers all over the place. I wanted to hide in the right truck, serial number 233980. But Machine Gun Mike could be waiting for me, seeking revenge. What the fuck? Try tossing your puny grenades now! She got Mike? No, nope. now I go by the name Smash Mike! Why splash? Because I'm going to splash your entrails all over the place! <laughs> scratched at the paint job. But why didn't you attack it from behind? It's the weak point of many models. I was testing its entire surface armor. 
I concluded that every side was strong, except the rear. defeated. After dealing with the tank, I found the truck and hid inside. The driver showed up a few minutes later and unknowingly aided my escape. And the military didn't find it weird that everything in the northern parking lot was destroyed? Who knows? Maybe it's a regular occurrence. But the truck driver must have seen all that destruction. Well, you know how military grunts are. They only think when ordered to. <laughs> 